all you guys, gals, and everything in between, I'm Lola the Dragon, and you're watching me play on the Minecraft map Diversity 3 by QMagnet and Co. Link to download the map will be in the description, and oh, along with that, the people who made the map. Yay! Last time, I got this one. And broke 73 bones, I think. Yeah! This time, I'm feeling... Uh, I'm not sure how I'm feeling, actually. Mmm... I got the infantry branch done. I did the the yellow branch. I have not done the lime branch though. Uh, how do I do this? Um, there's an item frame. Am I just supposed to put like anything in there? Cause if so, that's kind of weird. Um, let's see if the, we can get the trident and put that in there. Because that would be fun if we could. Mm. Ow. The lightning strikes were not necessary. Trident! Woo! And I think it's here? Yes. I heard something. It worked! What do I do now? Oh, I just wait, I guess. Yay! I still have no idea what the gondola code thingy was. Ah! Oh! Oh! Bye bye, boat! Guess I'm not getting back like that. Trivia! Woo! Alright. What's this button? Welcome to the trivia branch. Center button presents the question. Punch the answer you believe is correct. Do you understand? <laughs> I love answering that. Ow. Can you please stop? I don't get it. Come on, are you really that slow? <laughs> no. You must be joking. Okay, yes, I get it. Now please... General, technical, community. Okay, let's go with community first, since, yeah. Okay then. Introduction, adventure, arena, trivia, parkour, escape, labyrinthian, dropper, survival, puzzle, and boss battle. Hello. Who was the original creator of the diversity Minecraft map series? Q Magnet. Ding, ding, ding. Correct, Q Magnet is the original creator of diversity. We hope you got that first try, or he may be a bit sad. You can check out more of his maps here. There's the link. I don't really feel like, um, copying it right now, so you all can see it there. Minecraft music video parodies are quite popular on YouTube. Which video parodies, parodies Coldplay's Viva La Vida? I think it's this one. Fallen Kingdom, featured on Captain Sparkles. Oh, I saw him in the, uh, the parkour branch. YouTube channel has over 114 million views. You can view it, view it by clicking here. No thanks. Uh, let's see here. Um, I heard that. Vex has made quite a name for himself with, it, with his very difficult Complete the Monument maps. But which branding does the series of maps go by? Ow! Do you mind? Uh, extreme survival. Try again. Vex maps aren't extreme survival. What do I do? Well, we actually found a map called Extreme Survival by Kib Cobb from September 2011. Check it out here. Just not much to do here except die, I guess. Aw. Okay, then. Let's try again. Hmm. Uh, legendary. Legendary isn't the correct brand. Aw. Incorrect. This build is from Legendary. Just one of those CTM maps by Vex. But Legendary isn't the label his other maps collectively go by. Oh. This is cool. I don't know who Vex is. Ooh. Hello there, friends. Ow. Not friendly. Not friendly. Okay, then. Ragecraft! Ragecraft isn't made by Vex. 
blade is it like a thing Raycraft is of is another popular ctm map series created by heli ceo so obviously not by vex excuse me i put that in my inventory hello ah. Ah. i don't like being set on fire it's super hostile Vex has released quite a number of challenging CTM maps under the names of Super Hostile, which are available for free here. I'm not going to click on the link, but you can probably look it up. From maps to servers, Hypixel has mastered many of the creative aspects of the game. Which of these is not a, a, a Hypixel project? I think it's Withered's Challenge? Nope. Withered's Challenge is a Hypixel map. Really? I haven't seen it. Ruther's Challenge is a 2013 arena map by Hypixel. Now the Hi now the Wither has challenged you to find its three skulls. Okay then. There's one. Hmm. Is it gonna show me a Wither? Or not show. Kill me by Wither. Once I find all three of them. Ooh, it's gonna be in the tree, isn't it? Um... Uh, or not. Hmm. That's a nice wall pattern. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Okay, then. I'm a little bit confused. But that's alright. Confusion is normal in these circumstances. Oh, there it is. Yep, I knew it. Here's your darn skulls. <laughs> <laughs> um, Creeper Dungeon. Creeper Dungeon is a high pixel map. Really? Creeper Dungeon is a 2012 arena map made to celebrate 50,000 subscribers for the high pixel YouTube channel. Think you can tape on the creepers? No. I didn't even survive the potions. Vampires! Vampire Survival is a Hypixel map. Another one? Vamp vampire Survival is a 2012 PvP map where players kill or become the vampires. So have you got what it takes to survive this? I doubt it. Wee. Hello. I'm not even trying at this point. Oh, they actually were vampires. Zombie Siege. Nothing in there. Okay. Zombie Siege is a map by the talented map maker Pioneer known as Disco. You can watch the trailer for the mass this classic Minecraft minigame here. Y'all can do that on your own time. Hello there. Hi. I can't go in there. Okay then. One of the most well-known resource packs is Faithful. 32x32, 32 32, a higher resolution version of the classic default resource pack. Who originally created it? Hmm. I like your face. I was just guessing. Faithful 32 by 32, originally created by Vatic, later maintained by members of the community, is still available here, but is no longer up to date. Dang. Oh well. No one knows what this lamp means. This lamp means the map maker has been fine in this level. <laughs> <laughs> level six. The dropper two. Nice. Bonus level not included the, in this do dropper 2 mock-up. No kidding. In, 20, in 2011, Bigger released a new genre of Minecraft gameplay with his massively poppered, popular dropper map. A couple of years later, Bigger released a sequel. What is the subtitle of the second dropper map? I think it's this one. Yeah, I remember this. The Dropper 2, Newton vs. Darwin by Bigger is an amazing looking and fun dropper map created for Minecraft 1.5 and can be downloaded here for free. I'm not going in there. Mods are one of the most popular aspects of Minecraft, with many of which are made more easily accessible with the program Forge. With the, which of these Minecrafters develops Forge? This guy. Yeah, cause he's the only one without a Steve skin. Correct. 
Forge was originally developed by Eloram, Space Toad, and Flower Child circa 2010. Lex Manos took over shortly after and has been lead developer since. If you want to try out some of the many crazy Minecraft mods, you can get started here and download Forge for free. Nice. I'm not gonna do that though. Hello. Oh, this is a cute little cobblestone hut. What would Minecraft be if it weren't for YouTube? Do you know who created the very first Minecraft Let's Play? Oh no. X. No. X wasn't the first LP. X's first adventure video was posted August 4th, 2010, but someone was earlier. How about some X's and O's? Hmm. This one? Aww. Okay. And then I go for this one. And then I go for... Ooh, this one. Um, you just lost. Nice. Round two. X. O. X. O. X. O. Dang it. And then he's gonna go for X over here. X. Draw. Restarting round. Am I going to have to lose this? I am, aren't I? Oh well. It was fun while it lasted. Aww. Final round. Oh, I get to go first again. Nice. X. Or O. X. O. X. O. X. O. I win! Yay! Win! Hmm, I don't know any of these people. This guy. Paulosaurus Jr. wasn't the first LP. Okay then. Paul started his survival tutorial on July 29th, 2010, but someone was earlier. This is his build from that series. Locate all seven Pauls and bop them to get to back to the branch. Okay then. Bop them. I can do that. Hmm. There's one. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, any more? Of course there's more. <laughs> uh, hmm, that went outside. Turret 1, manual trigger. Turret 2, manual trigger. I don't know what that just did. Oh well. Hmm, nope. Uh, nothing over there. This is such a cute little build. Oh, there's more. Okay, then. Oh, oh, geez. How deep am I going to have to go? Really deep, I'm guessing. Hello. Or not. Okay, then. Guess I didn't have to go that deep after all. So I think that was three? I don't know. Um... Any over here? No. Um. Maybe they're outside. Yeah, I think that's it. Hmm. Hello. Ooh, there's one down there. Hello. And there's a little area. Nice. And now I go back up. Yay! What was that? It was a torch. Okay, then. And... Down here, maybe? Hello! Any Pauls? Hello? Ow! Okay, don't do that. Um... Oh, 
Wow. Okay. How do I get out? Oh no. Ow! Let me out! Oh wait, I can just take the arrows. There we go. Uh, welcome to Cloud Tower. Oh, I thank you. I don't know how to get out of Cloud Tower though. Ah, oh, there's one. Hello. How many is that? I have no idea. Oh well, this is actually kind of fun. I'm getting to bop whoever the heck Paul is. And yeah. And then I go up here. And like this. How do I get out of this little area? Oh, okay then. Hmm. Um, maybe I missed something up here. Oh, I missed the roof. I did not miss the roof. But maybe the roof can help me. Roof, where is the last Paul? Or at least I think it's the last Paul. Um, hello? Oh, I have, like, a bunch of resistance. Okay, so that didn't work. Um... Maybe I just have to die. This is gonna take a sec. Yes! No. Well, that didn't work. Dang it. Um, thank you. Uh, whoop, there we are. Ah, finally. This person. The, uh, uh, this honor goes to the Karlzor, who even has a Guinness record to go with that. It was posted May 21st, 2009, just four days after Notch released the video game publicly. Check out the video here. No. Hello. Aw, it's like a game show. There are many extremely handy external programs for m building my massive Minecraft maps and projects. Who's the original creator of MC Edit? Hmm. I think this person? Yes. MC Edit, created by Code Warrior Zero, allows you to make massive changes to a world file quickly and easily while being outside the game. It's ex it's available free for Minecraft versions prior to 1.13 here. Nice. Ooh, it's like a school. Aw, that's cute. It's like a little drawing. It's grand drawing. Nice. Detailed information plus tax options. Tax information. You are the government, because money solves all problems. Tax levy. Cost. None. You get 7k. Free to buy. Get the money. Cash. Yep, that sounds about right for taxes. Detailed information. Plot types. By Jigarbov. I can't read that. Huh? Pollution! Easy! <laughs> Negative effects on all neighbor. Yep. GW Projects Info. By Jagarbov. Uh, I. P. Zero, zero. P. E. D. Yes. That makes total sense. Let's press the button. When it comes to map making pioneers, Noob Crew is one of the most successful. Which popular custom Minecraft map, map did he create? It wasn't Terra Swoop Force. I think it was Skyblock. Yes! Skyblock, created by Noob Crew, is one of the most recognizable Minecraft maps ever. You can still download the original version of this massively popular but simplistic survival challenge here. No thanks. Ooh, mine. Thank you. Where'd it go? Oh well. Oh look, there it is. Hey, come back. I want you. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. It broke the block. <laughs> Where are you going? 
Are you just floating around in a circle? Okay then. Technical! Ooh! It's common knowledge redstone dust can be powered up to 15 blocks, but do you know the max length of a tripwire line to power a signal? I do not. Let's go with 20. 20 blocks is not the answer. Wee. Looks like you'll have to pull an impossible mission and avoid the 20 levels of security wires to get to the bottom. This thing should help. Um. Oh. I'm just supposed to slowly fall. Dang it. This is gonna take a while. Okay, so apparently I'm not allowed to hit the wires. I mean the walls. The wires I'm obviously not allowed to hit. But the walls are off limits too, apparently. <sighs> BRB again. I think I'm almost there. Finally, jeez. Taking me like three minutes, but that feels like a long time for some reason. Maybe it's because it's moving so darn slow. Hey, look, there's the other feather. It's, <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Maybe I'll get to keep it. Oh, thank goodness. What is it not? There we go. Button and 36. Dang it! 36 is not the correct amount. Okay then. Maybe you can locate the tripwire hook among these 36 pillars. Oh no. Ooh, ladders. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. I hope it's not at the top. It probably is. <sighs> Look, a chest. Lots of chests. Oh no. <sighs> well, one chest at a time. One at a time. Is it gonna be in the redstone? That would be funny if it was. Oh, there it is. Found it. Woo. All right, 15. Tripwires can be armed at, almost, at over 15 blocks. Three dispensers are wired 17 blocks apart. Good luck. Run. I owe you $1 million. Of course you do. But, oh, 40. Duh. Was I the Magnus slime? The maximum length the tripwire can be to power signal is 40 blocks. Now why would you ever need that if you had a really long corridor? Input. What is this basic redstone mechanism commonly known as? I think it's an OR gate. No wait, it's an AND OR gate. Yes, this circuit is commonly known as the XOR gate, or the I don't care thing by people who have no interest in redstone. <laughs> I know, interest in redstone. <laughs> Which of these blocks will not be pulled alongside slime blocks attached to a piston? That is glazed terracotta. Correct. Glazed terracotta will not be grabbed by a slime block attached to a pi piston. Curious gl if glazed donuts do or not. <laughs> this one. What is not a purpose of an activator rail when powered? Disables hopper minecarts from picking up items, toggles corner rail directions, repeatedly executes command block minecarts. That's a thing. Ejects a rider from stationary minecart. I think it's this one. Activator rails e repeatedly execute commands. Command block minecarts will run commands every four game ticks if the minecart is on an inactivator rail. Like this. 
Ah! The floor is fire. Fun. You know what? Why am I fighting this? There we go. Okay, then. It's this one. Nope. Activator rails do eject the rider. Hey, look! Now go ahead and ej eject the D3 map team. Uh... <laughs> I feel kind of bad for this. Sorry. Oh, Cold Fusion Gaming. I think that's the guy who did the... Come on. The escape map. Sorry. At least you won't be alone in death. Was that a spider? I thought I heard a spider. I thought I heard a pigman. Specifically of the zombie variety. Oh! So that's what these ones are. Although I think that the Trico is a drowned. That one's a zombie. Uh, come on. <laughs> okay then. Uh, come on. Jeez. Did okay, I heard the button there. it all the way. What was I doing? There we go. Whee! I think it's this one then. Yes. Activator rails do a few things, but they do not toggle, toggle corner directions. They also don't get invited to parties much. <laughs> Ooh, it's like a stage. Which of these blocks prevents a skeleton from burning in the sunlight when placed over its head? I believe it's carpet. Nope. Carpet is a transparent block. Okay, then. Believe it or not, carpet does not prevent a skeleton from burning in sunlight. Interesting. Here you go, bud. Ah! was not expecting that. Okay, then. Hmm. I think it's hoppers. Nope. Hoppers are transparent blocks, too. As you can see, a hopper doesn't prevent a skeleton from burning in sunlight. Uh. What? Here, have a closer look. Thanks. I appreciate it. Cobwebs! Yes! Cobwebs blocked sunlight, surprisingly. Don't tell Mojang, or they might change that clever trick in future releases. My lips are sealed. But not the video. What does MBT stand for? I think it's this one. Yes. MBT stands for Named Binary Tag. I knew it. Oh, right, this way. What does the... Exclamation mark symbol indicate in a command. Oh no. I think it's this one. Yeah, because it's the same with math, right? The, qu the exclamation mark symbol is handy syntax digit that allows excluding targets. Meaning, we could give cake to everyone, excluding you, if we wanted. Aww. That's mean. What syntax is required to summon the killer rabbit? Uh, nope. Killer rabbit isn't even a real tag. Good, you've broken into Mr. Fluffy's house. Quick, grab his valuable golden carrot and get out of there while he still can't find his key. Okay. Uh, where is it? No, uh... Oh no. Why are there so many carrots? Uh, 
Where? Uh. Where? Six. Nope, Baron Six is not the correct tag. Aww, little buddies! Baron Six isn't actually a proper tag, but it will technically summon the brown rabbit. Okay. Aww. They're so cute! Nope! Dang it! This one? Yep. If you want to play with killer bunnies, you can summon one with rabbit type 99 and let the fun begin with your friends. Right. Fun. Is this shield? What sound ty file type do resource packs require for su custom sounds to work? Wav. Dragon. They don't use wav. Okay. But go ahead, celebrity wave to all your endearing fans. Um, do I have to punch them? What? Oh. Og. Resource packs use OGG files for any custom sounds. I did not know that. This way. Finally. Wait a minute, I don't recall op that opening in the back of the cell. Prisoners are the flush after every use. Ew. No unauthorized access beyond this point by order of the king. Oh! What the devil? This cell's got some weird light on the floor. Who's this person? I guess five years is a bit long to go without feeding the prisoners. I guess? Haven't received any new orders since 2013. Guess I'll keep waiting. We must protect the holy wool of limosity at all costs. Okay then. Which command is the insertion listener event restricted to? Ooh. Tell raw. All technical trivia complete. Ooh, this is an insertion listener event. Put your mouse over that and shift click. It can only be used with the tell raw commit. Oh, nice. I did not know that either. The more you know. Just as it says. Yummy, I want it. Why is it piece of st a piece of string though? That seems a little bit odd. It broke the block again. <laughs> I guess it's just gonna circle with the armor stand. Okay then. This is a cute little house. Oh, it's a villager house. Nice. Minecraft has many foodstuffs. Which of these would you not find in a standard game? Popsicles, duh. There are no popsicles in Minecraft, but maybe one day. Ah. Sometimes in Minecraft we die, but we get experience. Which single action would render you the most EXP? I'm guessing this one? Nope. Mining diamond ore earns you 3 to 7 EXP. Diamond ore gives you a max of 7 XP. Looks like you could use some experience in mining. Okay. There's gonna be something that pops out of this, isn't there? There totally is, isn't there? <sighs> oh. Yep. I think it's killing a baby zombie then. Baby zombies and baby zombie pigment offer 12 XP with every kill. Nice. Ooh. A flower forest. Flowers are lovely. Just like your nose, you can pick them. Which way does do, the... Which direction does the sunflower always face? West. Because the sunrise... They don't rise in the west. I know it faces the rising sun. West? You chose west. Well, maybe you should spend some quality time with west since you seem to love it so much. Um, am I just sitting here? Oh, 
Oh. Hello. Um. Okay. I can't see what's behind me, but that's okay. I I like West, I guess. Um, it feels weird not being able to turn my head. Like, why even bother having the mouse on? My hand on the mouse at this point. It's not that way. Hmm. Uh, this way. Not that way. This way. This is weird. And this way? Ooh, I kind of want to see what's this way. Oh, it's just another way to get over here. Okay, then. And then like this, there. And like that. Nope. And uh, this way? Yes. And then back, there, and there. There we go. Yay! It's east. As you can see, sunflowers always face east. The void? What? Yep, that was east. Oopsie. Wrong way. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Dance floor! Perfect for family goodbyes. This tune will turn the frownies upside down. What color is the music disc ward? That's far. That's... That's blocks. That's... I don't remember that one. But it's not blue. Blue is not true. Uh, the blue tie disc is titled Wait. Wait till you hear this one. Do you mind? Where? Dang it. Come back here. Uh. Come on, where'd you go? What? Uh. Do I have to sneak up on it? What? Oh, there it is. Hang on. I like this one. not right. Chirp. Oh yeah, chirp! Oh. I love this one. you glad you get this consequence? No, I'm not. The orange disc is titled Blocks. Grab the disc and let's block and roll. Okay, what's the punishment this time? I could have sworn that... What? What? not green. Oh. Well. 
So, let's just turn the music back on real quick. There we go. Next up. When silverfish hide in a stone block, this block becomes infested. How many of these types of silverfish blocks are there? Six. Oh, thank goodness. There are six infested stone variants. Stone, cobblestone, stone brick, mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, and chiseled stone bricks. Nice. Next up. Ooh, nice. What specific ingredient is required for a burst firework? Hmm, the diamond gives a star. The feather gives a trail. Oh, little tiny turtles! Hmm, <laughs> glowstone. Glowstone dust is used for twinkle fireworks. Oh, I love the twinkle ones. Better chase down all that glowstone dust. Hey, come back here. Okay then. It must be a gold nugget. Gold nuggets create star-shaped fireworks. Oh, then it's the diamond. Now you'll have to get all the gold nuggets into the star-shaped hole. What? I'm not having to do what I think I'm having to do, am I? Next up, uh, how do I get up there? Maybe like this, and there. Push you over there. Doesn't look like they're moving, so that's good. And then like this, push you off. Eh, close enough. I'll get you in a sec. And then here... Okay. And push you in. And now you. And you. There we go. Yay! It's the diamond. Diamonds create the trail fireworks. What? No. Now follow the diamond ore trails and build us a rocket. No! Th they make... They make the big burst thingies. Right? so bad if they were having if they like just <sighs> don't I need like oh wait down here and then up here and through here I guess not. Oh, it gives me paper. There we go. What do I do now? the feather. 
Feathers make burst firework stars, diamonds make trail fireworks, gold nuggets make star-shaped ones, and glowstone nuts thus makes a firework twinkle. What is the minimum amount of bookshelves required for a level 30 enchantment? 12. No. Now all you have to do to get back is break these 12 bookshelves. Hi. This is not gonna happen. Do you mind? Do you mind? Rude! And then I go over here and break this one. And quickly break this one. There we go. Uh, 15. Yes, thank goodness. For a level 30 enchantment, you need at least 15 bookshelves. They need to be in a specific placement around the enchanting table. Okay. Oh, a jungle. No blocks create different sounds based on what block you place them on. Which block would cause a no block to use the flute sound? This one causes the xylophone. I think it's packed ice. Nope. Ooh. Now hop up to the top and place a tune on that note block. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Aw, that was cute. It's gold. Nope, gold blocks make a gaff bell sound. Huh. You better find a gold block and play us a proper tune. Okay. Oh. I actually have to find one. Oh, hello button. N? N? What do you mean by N? T? I? Um, e in something at um, O O Hmm did I get this one? Yeah, that's the N. Um. Uh. Yeah, here's one. R. In. N I have no idea. N. In. Inventory? Gold block. I can't believe I didn't think of that. There we go. That was pretty good, though. Clay! Standard blocks under the note block use the harp sound effect. Clay uses the flute sound. Gold blocks make a belge sound. Plaque? That. Packed ice makes it chime, and bone blocks make play the xylophone. Dang it, I went one too far. Ooh, it's a pool party. Nice. Which banner has the pattern design known as a fess? This one. A fess is not a top horizontal stripe. Oh no. A top horizontal stripe is known as a chief. Now go find that chief banner hidden somewhere around here. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. Um. Hmm. This is an ocean monument. This is a another fortress, I think. Oh wow! I can actually see the sky for once. Hmm. Ocean monument, desert. Is there a desert temple? No, it's a jungle temple. And then this is a dark forest mansion thingy. Yes. Um. Hello. Nope. Hmm. Uh, maybe up here? I did not mean to... F is it in there? I think it's in there. Don't fall this time. Dang it. Hmm. <sighs> uh... Where? Do I go? Ooh, invisibility arrows. Spectral arrows. Hmm. What other kinds of arrows are there here? Hmm. I'm not invisible. Dang. Nothing in there. Oh, it's a dropper. Okay, then. Hello there. Hmm. No, that didn't work. Hmm. I am very confused. Hello. Hmm. Can't get in there. Um, I can get up here, and then maybe up here? Yes. Um, I think I'm lost. Ow. I, hello there. There we go. Oopsie. And this. Yes. The fest banner is a horizontal middle stripe. Wow, lag. Uh, let's see here. Last one. What is the opening line of the end poem that starts directly under the Minecraft logo during the closing credits? I think it's this one. Yes. After defeating the dragon and ex entering the exit portal, the end poem rolls. Following the Minecraft logo, the poem starts off, I see the player you mean, followed by your Minecraft account name. Is that a shulker I hear? Whoa, cool. It is a shulker. <laughs> it's a cute magnet shulker. That's adorable. Ooh. Yep, seems standard. Lots of beetroot seeds. No, uh, open up, I wanna see you. Hey, it's okay, you don't need to be shy. Hi. <laughs> I love it. Hello. Yay! Why is it green dye? Come on, let's go! Woo! Hey, wow. This green dye is very slow. Well, lime green. I'm able to go faster than it. Eee! So cool! That is a very tall tower. Wow. But whatever. <gasps> it's magic! Thank you, Magnet. I did not expect to see you pop out of nowhere. Hello. 
Well done, you passed. Yes, I did. Barely. Hey. Okay. Okay. That was kind of rude, but kind of expected. Analyzing item, please stand back. This has been the trivia branch of Diversity 3. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It'll really help out the channel since we're just starting out. And also, it'll help you see new videos when they come out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!